Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. In this video, we're going to make this beautiful card and make our own background paper using some ink and water. Now in this card, well let me start first. I am an affiliate for Spellbinders. There are links below for you to click on to order any and all of your craft products from Spellbinders. If you do that, I receive a small commission and that's at no cost to you. Thank you so much for all your support. So today we're going to use this wonderful exclusive um, colorful burst flower etch die. I just I fell in love with this flower. There's just something about it that is just like the center of the attention on the card. But I needed something behind it to kind of, um, I don't know, like balance it. So I wanted to show you how I made this paper. Um, now my things come like this because they're samples from Spellbinders because I am an affiliate. But of course you will get the wonderful packaging. The, um, uh, the Butterfly and the You Are Beautiful come from the new release, Simon Hurley's Beautiful Blooms. It is the You Are Beautiful, and then I use this butterfly down here. And every single one of these shapes has a die. Isn't that wonderful that Simon did that? I think that that is so fantastic. The other thing I wanted to say is this type of a set is like so versatile with anything that you do, as you can see. So you can always add your butterfly. The sentiments are beautiful. Um, the hello friend thinking of you. I've done a few cards with those. Let me see if I have, yeah, I do. Come right here. These are two cards that I did with the hello friend and then the thinking of you with the bees and our little um, ladybug there. They came out so pretty. Look at that embossing folder. Oh my goodness, guys. That is like my favorite embossing folder. Let me show that to you also. I've just got to show it to you. Flowers and Foliage. Um, it's a 3D embossing folder by Wendy Vecchi. I use it constantly. I just seem to be um, drawn to it. It actually works with many things. Not today though, <coughs> but with those other two cards I did. Okay, so let's get into first what we want to do is make our paper. Because we're going to use a little water and ink. I'll move these all aside. So I used um, just some, the darkest of the Pink Fresh Studio inks right here, Stargazer. I used some um, Wild Dandelion and some Dark Spruce from Gina K. Use any inks that you want. Uh, you know, I am an ink cube person because they're small, they're easy to use, and um, <clears throat> it's a good way to test color that you love. I love all these colors that I have uh, purchased. I would suggest to myself to buy the larger ones you know uh, they're all wonderful so but I like to move around with my inks a lot so it doesn't matter you know but I just used this is like a purplish blue and a yellow and a dark green okay so this piece is five by three and three quarter the black is five and a quarter by four I've got all my little pieces here to cut my die cuts with so um, I want like a nice layering effect here because I want to pull in that white, I want to pull in the dark, the black with the um, you are beautiful and so on and so forth. But first we're going to make it this paper. It's so simple. Take your ink, any ink you have, smush it. Now I have a glass mat here, okay? So I just smushed my ink and every time you do this it's going to come out different. We might need more ink so we'll leave these open. And now just some green And then I'm going to take my little spritzer bottle here and I'm going to hit it with water. And I'm going to let the ink just move around on its own. I'm not going to swirl anything. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm going to take my piece of Nina White cardstock and I'm just going to dab it in this mess that I have created. Look, and this is how we're going to make our paper. Isn't that fun? And I'm just kind of, wherever it's white, I'm just kind of dabbing into it. And like I said, each and every time you do this, now this is not watercolor paper that I'm using, so it is rolling up a little bit. After it dries some, I'll hit it with some um, heat. That seems to help it. And let's go ahead and put out some more blue right here. That stargazer is so pretty. It's a purplish blue. And it add some water to that and like I say each time you do this it's different you will pick up different hues and different 
color and different everything. So never ever think, well, I'll go ahead and duplicate that. Not with this type of a technique, that's for sure. And I'm just kind of picking it up, that's all. And you know, wow, that looks great, doesn't it? I love it. I wanna get a little bit here on these white. I really don't want, with this I don't want any white, if I can, possibly showing. But if it happens, it's okay too. And over here. I'm just kind of smushing this through all of my ink here. And look at that. I just even picked it up. What is it? It doesn't matter. It really does not. So I'm just going to leave that like that. And I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to set that off to the side. This is going to be beautiful. Okay. So let's go ahead and close our ink up. Now, if you do hear a little banging and everything here, the, um, they're installing the heat pump today. So, but I had to get in this craft room. I made that card while I was watching football last night, which was very good. There were some real, if you love football, you know there were some really good playoff games, right? There we go. All right. Now, let's go ahead and do a little die cutting while that dries. I put my card base over here also. And... bring in my die cut machine. I use the Platinum 6 by Spellbinders. Um, and let's see, what are we going to do here? Let's do this one right here. Um, and we need two of these. We need two of these like star bursty looking parts of the flower. This one will go down first. And let's see, what else can we fit on here at the same time? I bet we can fit some leaves on here. Let's see how I thought that I could fit all of them on here at once on this little piece. I guess I looked at it last night, right? Here we go. We'll just bring that in close. And I think we're good there. Wonderful. And let's see, we also need this in dark blue. Um, do I have another dark blue piece? I don't. I'll have to get that. I want to leave this one for the second one of that, and then I'll get another piece. So let's go ahead and run this through. And mind you, I'm using all scrap. And I didn't use the entire, um, all of the pieces from the burst. I left out a leaf, that part of the flower, and that big stem. I left that out. You know, you can always break your sets up. Mix up your sets. Have fun in your craft room. And with all the supplies that I know you guys have purchased. Okay, so there's one. Let's get this guy going right here. Let's see. Yes, that's what I thought that would go right there. I'm going to put my little yellow up here. And let me find that guy. Here we go. I'll put that right there just to, you know, use up my space. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, that's another way that I generate a little bit of income in here, is when you watch my videos, then YouTube sends me a little something, and they did, and I really appreciate that. So by clicking on my links, I make a little bit of money. And by you all watching my videos, I make some money that way too. And everybody does. That's a, you know, that's an affiliate. We all do that do this. I don't have a blog. It's just too much. I'm not a real big techie computer person. I have to admit that. So I, I do the best I can. But, you know, sometimes you've got to know your limits, right? Let's see. Let me pull that up. Good, now we're done with that. And this one I'm going to do out of a lighter piece. And let me get a dark piece of blue that's big enough for my other. Here we go. It's 
for my other piece right here. I'll just scooch that up and put that right there. Good. And these are just my colors that I chose. You choose any colors that you like. But I know you guys are going to love making that background. And of course, you know, if you use different colors, use different blues. And, you know, you don't have to use blue, green, you know, like that. You can use pinks and, you know, just have fun. Have fun. Okay, there's that. Now, let's see. We've got all of this. Come up. Come on. There. We have all of that completed. And I'm going to move this guy out of the way for just a second. And I'm going to bring the Misty in. I have the Mini Misty. And if you remember, this is a piece of scrap that came from, it actually came from the card I showed you. How funny. This is the inside of the arch. So, you know, I mean, I really do try my hardest to use um, every piece of paper that I have. I'm going to put You Are Beautiful here. We're going to do that in black. Let's do that first. Okay. And let's see, I've got my black ink right here. And I'm going to just ink this up. I love that the door is flat. And I'm going to just give that. And then let's go ahead and do another coat. That's the greatest thing about this positioning device is that you're right there, right? And see, I, when that door closed again, I didn't have a smudge. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so I'm going to just um, cut this off right now. And we'll trim that up in just a second. Let me close my ink. Now, what we're going to do right now is a little embossing. I have some, this is my Stampin' Up! color, Night of Navy. Use any color, of course, that you want. And I'm going to take the little butterfly. And we're going to go ahead and put that right there. Put my magnet right here. I can take that off. And I'm going to pick this up. Now, I'm going to do some clear embossing. When you do clear embossing, you can change any color ink into shiny, which is so fun. But you have to be fast, okay? you got to be just a little bit fast with it because these inks dry. And so you just want to make sure that you have it inked up enough. And we're going to keep going till I get it to the shade that I want but we're going to go right to that embossing powder okay so this pad is about gone here we go I like that but I'm going to take it see be ready I'm going to take it right into my embossing powder because that ink is wet okay just like that now we're good to go. So like if I used a pink, if I used um, red, if I used whatever color, yellow, whatever color, as long as I put the clear embossing powder on, now when I hit it with the heat, just give it a second to heat that clear embossing powder up and it's going to melt. Oh, I love to watch it melt. Don't you? Look at that. You can actually see that on camera, right? That's fun. And we have the coolest butterfly. Isn't that wonderful? That's so great. I love it. That came out really nice. Okay, so let me move this aside. I think we're good with that. Put this away. And we're going to go ahead and die cut that butterfly. Here's this. Here's that. And we're going to come right here. And I absolutely don't want my die to move. So I'm going to use some of the best ever craft tape from Spellbinders. You could use any kind of low tack tape. <clears throat> Or even washi tape. We're going to cut that out. Wonderful. 
and here is our beautiful butterfly and it is embossed and shiny I don't know yeah that right there the camera's picking it up isn't that great <laughs> just fun all out of scrap paper right it's like I said I save everything which is probably kind of nuts but I do because I use it I really do use it you know I don't throw out a whole lot although sometimes I will go in and be like okay you've got enough scraps of white let's purge you know sometimes that does have to happen so now let's get ready okay we're still a little wet here and see how it's curling I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna dry it from the back this helps it to flatten out it's still gonna be a little bit you know wet because like I said this is our um, kind of curly because this is not watercolor paper but it worked out great it worked out great okay <clears throat> let me put that aside bring in my little trimmer here and you can cut this with a scissor or however you want to it's just that your friend here cannot get anything straight and I know this so my best bet is some type of a trimmer and even that sometimes I don't get it straight you all watch me struggle right and I'm gonna just chop these off at the sides just to make it smaller and that just came out fantastic okay there's all kinds of mini trimmers out there if I can I'll link you some below and now I still want to go that still feels just a little damp just want to go over that again with a little bit of heat turn it I think that's the best we're gonna get it. right guys all right let's bring in our black and again this is five and a quarter by four my base is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter this is Nina white cardstock and uh, five and a half or five and a quarter by four and then five by three and three quarter everything is reduced down a quarter of an inch and it gives us a nice border now I'm not going to use wet glue on this because it's wet enough right but we also want things to really stick down I'm going to use my spellbinders adhesive which I absolutely love this and the little foam squares I have to admit I'm a little partial to rounded edges now so there's that so but you use whatever that you have I want to get this right at the edge to hold down my crinkles So I'm going slow. There we go. And I'm going to just come down through here and put enough tape to hold it. Now I'm going to bring this in. And I saw a video where it was like, get it on the edge over here and get your eighth of an inch border because we cut it back by a quarter right so you get an eighth of an inch border all the way around and you should be okay and we are hmm, I love it I forget what video I watched that showed me that this is still a little bit it's just a little bit not right up here luckily with the spell binders you have a hot minute okay to readjust and I love that there we go just had to lift that yeah just a just a smidge but I saw the smidge okay <laughs> so here we go let's get our wet glue now we could use that on the back of the black maybe wow what was I doing like well I was watching that ball game I'm telling you Kansas City was playing oh there was everybody played yesterday I was watching everybody now I'm going to put more more glue on here because of the crinkleness of that paper and I don't want things to lift. Now with the wet glue, we have wiggle room. 
So this will go right here, just like that. Oh my goodness, it's coming out wonderful. I'm happy, I'm very happy. Okay, now what we wanna do is, I'll use my little bottle now. We're gonna start with our flower here. And I'm going to place our the part of the flower that I call this like the sunburst of the flower. And we're gonna place this underneath. All right, at least place this down first. Just a little bit of glue. You don't need much glue, okay? I know I try for it not to like ooze out all over the place. Sometimes though it happens. So I'm kind of on the upper third of the card with this, just like that. Get a couple of blocks, hold it down. And let's go ahead and add glue to this one. Let's see. There we go. Okay. And let's add this to the bottom. So I just kind of make my little circle here. that attach. Push that up just a little bit. Okay. There. All right. Now, uh, let's go ahead and start with the inside of the flower. And, you, you know, you could do this many, many ways. There's, uh, but this is an exclusive set from Spellbinders. I love when they do that. That goes right here. See, I wanted my blue to show through right there. I'm going to pop this up with a foam dot. Now, these are squares, and these I got from scrapbook.com. And I'm going to put this right here. And then I'm going to put two squares on the back here. And we're going to bring them to our card. just like that and it just makes that burst isn't that fun love it I love that okay let's go ahead I want let's go ahead and look at these leaves now because I have the pop dots up under there I want to make sure that I can scooch these guys in here and I believe I can yeah so let's go ahead and put a square on here And I'm going to feed that right in through there. And then this one. Just like that. And let's get our other one that we cut out. So simple. Not a difficult card, but it's got a wow effect because of this background is fantastic. And I just kind of put that right there. Oh, love it. Okay. Let's see how our little guy here, you are beautiful. I'm going to do like three littles right here because this is going to rest on my leaf. You can put glue on it, a little bit of liquid glue if you want to. I think it's held out, down just fine the way it is because then we're going to attach our butterfly. So I'm going to put this right here just like that. And then our butterfly with a little. I'm going to bend those wings up. And we're going to put that right there. Oh my goodness. That is adorable. You know what? We're done. How did that happen so quick? Um, but we need gems. I didn't put gems on, on the other one either. But it. I want to. Let's see. I 
could get some up here. And let's put one down here. There. Yeah, always. I, I forget them when I'm designing, and then I get on here, and I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> let's, let's add one more thing, guys. Oh, it's always one more thing, right? <laughs> I know you guys do the same thing. And right there, here is our beautiful card for today. A little clear embossing, a little, um, I don't know, smushy ink. I don't know what to call that. Oh, it looks like a watercolor effect, but we did not watercolor. We just put our paper in a blob of ink and came out with a wonderful background. And like I said, each time you do it, it'll look different. Thanks so much for watching. All the links are below for you to click on and place any of your orders that you would like. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.